quick uh, full body routine that can kind of be used for uh, beginners or intermediate people or advanced. Oh, man, I'm really out of breath. This is gonna be a push, pull, leg split, which is kind of a starting point um, that I encourage to pretty much everybody who's just getting into lifting. There's gonna be a beginner option, intermediate option, and advanced option. I use all these to this day, even though I've been lifting for a while. So, let's do it. All right, hit the intro, baby. B-boy. It's five o'clock, and we're in maroon. I'm maroon at five. What is up, everybody? Talking through the push pull legs workout. Okay, you should screenshot this just because it's kind of a lot to talk over video. Let's get right into it, baby. All right. Okay, so push ups are good. Main thing is to keep everything flexed. Don't let your butt go up too high or too low. Um, and also, just go all the way up and down. Like, do, go on your knees if you have to. Um, I love the, the dumbbell bench press just because it's good for beginners and it's good for experts. Main thing is to, for all bench press, uh, same thing with this bar bench press like I'm about to do, is to not have your shoulders back too far but not too forward. Um, just like this kind of 45 degree angle, press your legs into the ground. Your lower back should be uh, up off the bench and your upper back should be pressed into the bench. I try and do a heavy set just because this is such a good compound movement. Um, this is one of my main things for chest day. So I love doing stuff with bands just because you can pretty much replicate any motion with a band. Pretty much anybody can hit the same muscles that a pull up works using a band just like this. Um, a lat pull down is also a great option at the gym. Just make sure you have good form just like this going all the way up, all the way down, pulling into your sternum. But make sure... Oh gosh, your elbow shouldn't be forward like that. That's terrible form, man. What are you doing? That look no, don't use your momentum. You look like a goof. Don't stay back there. So don't do that. But uh, lat pull downs are a great option. Just make sure again, here's just a good form. Uh, you're pulling all the way into your sternum, not using your, mom your momentum. So, and same thing with pull ups. I see too many people doing pull ups swinging. Um, I like to go all the way up, all the way down, pull back into your shoulders. So squats are one of the best exercises you can do. Um, Bodyweight squats, uh, these are called goblet squats, which for a little bit extra resistance, kind of just hold it against your chest. Main thing with squats is make sure your knees don't go inward, but just they're, they're tracking with your toes, your toes are pointed slightly outwards, and your knees are going out with it. And we go uh, all the way down, all the way up. Typically, my knee is recovering from injury, so I'm going about 90 degrees here. But you should go uh, butt to grass. Butt to grass, just because we're a good Christian family here. And uh, so, squats are key. Try and get them heavy if you can. They're just, it's just it's going to help. So, okay. Let's get into some shoulder stuff. Um, shoulder press is just so good. Um, pressing movements are great for your shoulders. Um... I try, when I'm doing standing, I flex my butt just to take some pressure off of my lower back. Um, seated shoulder press is also key. I think this is a good reason that some people should just film themselves working out because sometimes you have way worse form than you realize. My form is actually not great here. I try and go below 90, degree, uh, 90 degrees on the way down. Um, this is a good compound movement called the overhead press. I like to go all the way up, all the way down. really works on your shoulder mobility. Um, go light and then... Uh, work on good form and that's true of all these exercises so back extensions just a good hip hinge exercise is just key for um, just optimal health uh, back extensions going all the way up and all the way down it kind of replicates a deadlift and speaking of deadlift this is the king of the hip hinge exercises the deadlift if you don't have much equipment dumbbells are great make sure your butt's going backwards your chest is staying tight really form is key on here this is such a great full body compound movement i'll do lots of research and practice with lightweight doing deadlifts with proper form okay i love lunges just because you can do them anywhere uh, as you can see your lunge i sometimes keep my back leg straight and sometimes give it a little bit of a bend um, you can add some extra weight either by holding dumbbells on either side 
or by putting a barbell on your shoulder. Either way, the key is just to work on your balance. Sometimes I just do step back lunges like this, or I just, I really prefer just to do walking lunges. But either one's gonna get your legs worked pretty well uh, without needing much equipment. Uh, I like to do dips. They're such a good simple tricep builder. So you can do chair dips pretty much anywhere. You can lift your legs up as you can see with that one for some extra resistance. Or you can get on some dip bars. We can find pretty much anywhere. Make yourself do some nice uh, deep dips. Deep dips. And uh, make sure your, your elbows are like pressed up against your body uh, really close. It's going to engage the triceps pretty well. And you can just mess with different forms of resistance as you can see here. Got a little bit of extra weight. But just make sure you're doing good form. That's really what's most important. And just do the best you can. Um, I like doing rows. Um, sometimes I do with my knee up. Uh, on the bench, as you can see here, just pretend that you are starting a lawnmower with your elbow going backwards. It's going to work your lats pretty well. Always a good option. Um, you can also do barbell rows. My form is actually not that great here. My chest should be up a little bit higher as to not hurt my lower back. Um, but this is also just a really great back builder. Um, I like doing band work for biceps just because at the top of that band there's lots of resistance so that's good for beginners and for experts alike like all this stuff um, this is a supinated bicep curl with that little twist is gonna engage the bicep just a little bit more okay leg raises I like these way more than sit-ups don't do sit-ups leg raises just uh, really simply engage the lower abs sometimes I'll, I'll add that little pulse up just like that just for a little bit of extra sauce saucy sauce hanging leg raises are one of my favorite ab exercises really works the lower abs uh, and just really just gets the whole core involved um, you can either do it on a pull-up bar or it's a little bit easier just to kind of just put your elbows on one of these old contraptions um, either way just getting your lower abs to do the work not swinging your legs your legs it's gonna help a lot all right, this is everybody. Sorry, there's a fan in here, so it's really loud. So, just kind of wanted to bring you through this. It's a little something for everybody. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, just do push, pull, legs, abs. I mean, you can't go wrong. Yes, you can. That's why I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you could please, uh, I'm trying to rush because my battery's about to die. If you could please like this video, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, let me know. I will help you with anything you need. As long as it's the fitness genre. Thanks for watching. See you later.